you know what's crazy is you always think it's about us we go on the internet and we think it's about us and we're you know we get upset about different things it's weird because i went through phases where i wasn't i wasn't like a jealous person or anything I was actually like really, it's really weird how I was at different times in my life because at one time point I was just like this alcoholic gamer who just like, I would talk a lot of shit. Uh, but you know, a lot of people talk shit and you just got to deal with it. But I kind of quit doing that. I don't really like doing it anymore. Actually, I wasn't really like trying to piss anybody off. Really, I was just kind of like, you know, having fun and shit. And it's like, well, if you're going to get mad or... You, you know, if you're not feeling it, then whatever. I miss those days, too, man. Because I, I am a hardcore gamer, dude. I'm not really, like... I almost feel like I'm not a rapper, or I'm not a fucking... I'm not a fucking animator. I'm not anything. I'm just a fucking gamer. And I've lost my way because I've lost interest in games. I feel like a lot of games, like, if I buy them, it's not going to be worth it if I don't play it. But I played so many damn games that it's like, fuck, dude, like, it's almost like I can't find myself. It's actually kind of sad. It's like, it's this weird thing where I've played so many games that it's like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Like, I can do it sometimes, but I mean, to really get into a game, I, I'm not able to do it. And I have to compromise. Because every single game out there right now, I don't really like. So, okay, so I played years of PUBG. I played a lot of Apex Legends. I've played Counter-Strike. But see, the Counter-Strike is like the same typical shooter, you know. Kill, respawn, kill, respawn, you know what I'm saying? And that's that shit's been out forever, dude. I've been playing those games since the 90s. You know what I'm saying? And when the Battle Royale came out, when PUBG, you know, PUBG and you know, Fortnite, I didn't really like Fortnite. Um because I didn't like building stuff and all that, but But no, I was into PUBG and then But see, like Call of Duty, it releases every year, dude, and Warzone Call of Duty Warzone, it is cool. Like, they have some cool features. But it's still just basically a battle royale. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they can get people fucking hooked on it. And people will play it. And there's always going to be an audience for what, you know, the best shooter and all this that's out. Or the best features. But to me, it's kind of the same bullshit. Even though they hype it up and they make it seem like it's not the same bullshit it's usually the same bullshit it's like the same game dude you know what i'm saying which is which is you know it's still cool you know i like it i just don't like i've played it so many days in a row you know like so many years you play it and then you start to realize wow i'm doing the same thing over and over like i was playing PUBG, i just got sick of looting like you go loot and then you die you know what I'm saying? And there's not a guarantee that you're going to get killed. or, And especially on the PC, there's a lot of bots. Or, you know, there's a lot of cheaters and shit. So you don't really know if you're fucking playing with cheaters. Which kind of killed it. But that's just something that's always going to be there. Um, But, you know, I guess really it's like... Well... <laughs> it kind of died, you know? Like my whole spirit of video game. Because, like... After PUBG, you know, and I was playing Apex Legends, I played some Call of Duty Warzone. There were a couple other games, you know, I'm not really, I'm not really into that Fall Guys shit. And then I was doing retro gaming, which is cool, because I got to throw a bunch of stuff back. But then, you know, I've been trying free games, and I don't know, man. I don't really like the overhead games, like, like you know how, like, League of Legends... Or like uh, Diablo, how it's like looking down on the character. Like, I don't really know why. I guess like maybe like third or like uh, 3D. Like games like Skyrim or, you know, like 3D games are like unpopular or something. I'm not really sure. I think maybe the typical shooter got kind of a little bit overused on the market. You know. 
Gears of War, all those games, you know what I'm saying? Halo, you know, all these shooter games and shit. And I played the hell out of Halo, too. And I, when Halo 5 came out, I've been playing every Halo every time it comes out, you know what I'm saying? I like Halo 4, I like Halo 5, but I get burnt out on it eventually, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, right now I'm in a weird state. And I know that it's, uh, Cyberpunk is coming out, which is supposed to be a big game and all that. Which I know a lot of people will be playing it, but I don't know. It's almost like the way I'm thinking about gaming too, because I started to think of it as an addiction more than something that, you know, I can actually enjoy. But I kind of want to play something more casual because I'm kind of sick of getting pissed off. Because every time I play a competitive game, I'm going to get pissed off when I die. You know what I'm saying? And not that I, like, I'm a pretty decent player, and I know that a lot of people try to flex, and they, you know, they, they get all sick with it, and hard with it, and they want to, you know, prove that you suck, and all this, and people get really extremely competitive, which I don't really give a fuck about anymore, really, because that stuff can inspire you, but it can, like, you can just be another player, you can just be another statistic and shit like that. Who knows it? Who is using aimbot? You know what I'm saying. Um, that's all I'm gonna have for this video, though. Just talking about how I lost my passion with video games, I guess. <laughs>